Bid only and answering them with his excellent expertise. Andrew, what are viewers asking you about this week? Hey, good morning, guys. A little heavy lifting for a Monday because we're talking about something that involves a little bit of a heavy explanation, if you will. But it's a great question from Cass and Sperry, Iowa, there in Des Moines County. So storms come from the west. That's what we're used to here in the Quad Cities. But why do hurricanes move in the opposite direction, going from east to west as opposed to west to east. Well, the reason for it is something called the Coriolis effect. And of course, we know that the Earth spins, it rotates on an axis. And you got to think of the air mass and the air and the atmosphere like a giant body of water, like the ocean. So what happens is when you get close to the equator, the trade winds that are associated with the Coriolis effect move towards the equator. The farther away from the equator you go, the trade winds move the opposite direction, away from the equator. So this is where all your tropical systems develop, your storms and your hurricanes right here near the equator. That's why they move from east to west. They're following those trade winds that are close to the equator due to that Coriolis effect. Did you also know too that steering winds are different depending on the time of year? So this time of year in the summer, the jet stream well to the north uh, of the Gulf of Mexico. That kind of leaves us exposed to hurricanes making landfall here, especially in the south, uh, half of the United States. However, in the fall, as the jet stream comes down from the north and gets us some cooler air, it can actually add as a shield deflecting those storms away from making landfall in the U.S. The more you know. And you can read more about this at WQED.com. When we come back, yeah, we have a few more rounds of some showers and storms ahead this week.